Aloha Abu, I'm Dr. Interwebs. Today I'm responding to a subscriber's request, which is how to make Italian sausage pasta as a beginner with homemade sauce. Alright, so how do we know if a pot is hot? That's how we know if a pot is hot. Okay? If the water's dancing, we know the pot is hot. If the water's dancing, we're gonna go ahead and add the olive oil. And we're gonna go ahead and start sauteing our onions for our nice Italian sausage. Basta, right? This is about, um, this is half an onion, okay? Chopped, I'm gonna go ahead and add that on there. But let's just stop alarm. Okay, we're gonna let that start sauteing there. We're gonna add some salt and pepper. This is a nice pasta, so we're gonna constantly do this. Constantly seasoning, constantly seasoning. How much is this right now? This is probably only about a quarter teaspoon of pepper and very light on the salt, okay? Very light on the salt. Go ahead and put my garlic in there. Now you gotta be moving here, all right? Can't let this sit. It's getting a little too brown for me. Those bits are getting a little too brown. So we got a little bit of olive oil, all right? A little bit of olive oil. I'm still keeping it at, uh, you know what? I'm gonna turn that down, that heat down. Maybe even take it off the heat. Okay? Take it off the heat for a little bit while I'm waiting. Oops. Add in there. Add my sausage. Just cut it up, adding the sausage. Okay? Now, as you can tell, if you get these rolls, to me, it's a lot easier than having to cutting up the lining of the sausage. All right? What I'm worried about now, or you should, what you should be worrying, are the onions cooking too fast. You gotta ask yourself that, right? Are the onions cooking too fast? Turn the heat down that they are. Okay? Add the sausage in now. Look at those onions though. They're definitely different than when you saw them earlier, right? Now we're gonna go ahead and sorry if I'm being a little too aggressive on here but I want to get these I want to get them not all uniform size chunks but I definitely want it to be you know grounded right again this is a uh, mild Italian sauce if you like really spicy out the get-go you're gonna go ahead and do what you're gonna get the spicy Italian sausage okay spicy Italian sausage I did do that because I do like that but a trick is for a tip is that you can always add red pepper flakes to this if you want it spicier. Versus you cannot take the heat away when it's already spicy. And that's just, you know, something you gotta understand what your ingredients are, how spicy you want it, how spicy, is it all yours and that's good enough for you? Or do you want to be able to be flexible for it later and be able to feed other kind of people, other kind of taste, right? Not everybody uses spice. So hopefully you're watching this, this is all real time. All real time. I'm watching my heat. Then set medium as it's starting to brown. What are we gonna do? As we're doing this, we're eyeballing our sauce. 15 ounces of pizza sauce, any way you like it. You know, I'm gonna say any way you like it. There's different kinds of pizza sauce. Different kinds. So this is already Italian sausage, but I'm gonna go add a little bit of pepper. How much? Probably another. Another eighth, quarter teaspoon. Okay, then add any salt. Try not to add as much salt as I can resist. Where are we at time-wise right now? We're at seven minutes total. Prep time to cut those onions was about two, three minutes. And again, I pressed the garlic, but you can cut them in little thin, thin, thin slices as well, right? You're gonna pick what you're, you're gonna like later on. I said, oops, a little piece of meat fell off. Then I'm gonna add my herb grinder, okay? Add a lot of this. This is the flavors. I'm adding probably about, at least right now, that was at least a teaspoon. Okay, almost cooked now. 
Next ingredient we're going to add on here is going to be that tomato sauce. Okay. Again, this is where you, you know you you're you're trying to figure out how much bits and bites you want to have when you're eating your pizza sauce. If you like big chunks of meat, then you keep them big. I like them to be this. <laughs> what do you call that? Medium. Let me get my sauce ready. Again, about a 115 ounce can. Okay. Turn down the heat because now we're just gonna go ahead and let it shake up the can. Put the sauce in. Okay. Put the sauce in. I'm gonna keep the what's in here right now, and when my pasta's done. I'm gonna go ahead and use that pasta water to go ahead and give me a little bit more sauce. I'm use all of that sauce that's in the can. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm gonna go and let this simmer. So I already got the I got the oven now, the range, excuse me, to low. I like my consistency of my meat, the chunks, right? Bits and bites. I'm gonna go ahead and Got it on low again, and I'm gonna go ahead and let it simmer. I'm gonna go ahead and start my pasta now as well. I got a gap right there, so it goes up. You know, I'm watching to see the bubbles. Again, I'm gonna put it on low. So I went ahead. So I went ahead and picked some basil for my plants. I'm just gonna start throwing it in there. You know, letting it add a little bit, of, a little bit of flavor. Of course, I might even chop some up, put them at the end, All right? But this is fresh from the basil plant, a basil, excuse me, basil plant. And we're gonna go ahead and stir it around. Man, basil smells so good, All right? Is this a lot for you? Is this not a lot? Again, this is up to you. This is your sauce, right? Just gonna go mix it around. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. All right, I went ahead and picked some basil. Probably about, uh, as you saw, it was a handful. Mix it into the sauce. Probably wait about a minute or so. Go ahead and taste it. See if it's to my liking. Um, you know, this is, I already know that I like basil in my sauce. So if you don't like basil in your sauce, they're all good, right? All, all, all good. It's what is your flavor. You might want to put parsley in there. Um, I have a little bit of parsley that I'll add. You know, I use, uh, I use um, the organic parsley like this. I'll add a little bit. You know, just like how you do your lasagna, you know. Mix it up. Some people like to really get the sauce down. I don't, I'm, this is almost perfect for me right now. As I'm letting it simmer, it's just gonna go ahead and get that nice consistency that I'm looking for, okay? And while it's still boiling. Finally, it's boiling. Finally, it's boiling. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna add salt. One, two, three. Salted enough for me, all right? What is that probably measurement wise? That is probably about, um, probably about no more than a fancy uh, a teaspoon. Yeah. I, like the spaghetti. I like the noodles long. Okay. Let it boil down, twist it. Once, it, once the, all the noodles come into the water, below the water line, I will go ahead and start twisting. Take my tongs, start to twist. With a twist, it's twisting, okay? And I'll come in here, am I adding olive oil to the pasta sauce, or to the, to the pasta water? No, I am not. I am not. Now I'm back, I'm back over here. Making sure my pasta is getting cooked, and it is. You know, there's a lot of tests you can do, but that's one of them. Look at that. Is it limp? No, it's not. It's not limp enough. Okay, look at that. This is the one of the things that I do, and of course I will taste it. But look at that. 
that should be definitely more flexible, but it's getting cold. It's looking really good. You see that? You see how it's, you see that arc? Okay, it is actually ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn the heat off. I'm gonna stop it from boiling. And it'll be, I'll be, I'll be serving this in about two minutes, two or three minutes, and I will show you what that looks like, okay? So when I said pasta sauce, look at that, okay? It's already, some of it's already gone. As you can tell, it's not a saucy. So what you would do is you would add some pasta sauce. And how do you add pasta sauce? You just go ahead and take a cup, measuring cup or whatever. And you always usually, people always tell you, put some of that pasta sauce to the side. So let the timer off, I always have timers. I put some of that pasta sauce in here. See that? Then I go ahead and stir it up. Why pasta sauce? Well, because pasta sauce will not introduce any other flavors because you're gonna put pasta in here. Does that make sense? Now my consistency is back. Hopefully you understand that. That's so key. People forget that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my ladle. I'm gonna try and eyeball putting half of this, which was a pound of, a pound of um, mild Italian sausage. Now I'm gonna take half of it because it's just me and I know this much pasta sauce is gonna be enough for a good, for a good, for, for me, at least four meals, right? Because I want fresh pasta. I want to boil my pasta again and get that done. So I think that is half. What do you think? You think that's half? I think that's half. Okay? I'm going to take this Pyrex, put it aside, let it cool down. Here we go. I'm taking all this pasta. And I'm going to put it in to the pasta sauce. To the pasta sauce. Wow. Um. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? You know, you could be making spaghetti all your life. You could be making spaghetti all your life and not understand how to make pasta, what al dente looks like, the timing, what simmering means, what flavor it should be the measurements, all those things. So that was half, and stir it up, okay? Stir it up. So you see my proportions, right? Half a pound, half a box. So we can do that later. That is my spice. Italian sausage. Again, I didn't put any pepper flakes on it, right? No pepper flakes yet, but stand by. So there's a debate. Do you put the cheese? Do you put the Parmesan, the Pecorino? Do you put it in there now? I do. All right, how much am I putting in? I'm putting in this much. I'm gonna put in what I would call a quarter cup, right? While it's in the pot, I'm putting fresh, this is a um, Parmesan, right? but I'm putting about a quarter cup now. And then when I serve it, I'll probably put maybe every serving, I'll probably put a teaspoon to a tablespoon of fresh grated cheese. Stir action. This is when you could also add more fresh basil. If you are actually going to go ahead and serve it right away. For me, it's just me right now, right? So I'm gonna eat this because the basil was, was put, put in there less than five minutes ago. As you can tell it's all, all in there already. I'm saying that because I wanna eat it <laughs> right now, okay? So last thing right now is plating. Let's get this dish plated for you. 
So I have my clanky clanks. And how do you plate? This is the reason why you want long noodles. So I take it. Again, it's only me right now, so let me let me be let me be tame for the tasting. Boom, take it, twist it. That's what you wanna do. You wanna twist it. I'll add some of this meat on top of that. Okay? I'm gonna go add that little bit of cheese, a little bit of parsley, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, try to adjust my lighting, didn't really work. I went ahead and grated my cheese, right? Took some of this there, put some fresh cheese on there. Huh? A lot more than that, of course. Then I'm taking my, my basil, my basil. Put some on there. That's probably enough for this, this dish, right? Taking my nice pork. Gonna go ahead and taste it. Let's see, is my creation. Was the juice worth the squeeze? Well, I'm definitely not disappointed. It's very nice when you see and taste your creations. I love the fact this bucatini is got the sauce inside of it. I just saw that picture of that one right there, where you see the sauce inside the inside the bucatini. Right? Sorry about the lighting, but wow. This is what I wanted. This is what I got. 